Plug is a genre of music where the beats are slowed down just a little bit, everything is a little bit softer, and there's still kind of an upbeat energy to it. There's a lot of artists using plug beats right now, including some really poppin' ones like D Savage and La Tyler. Even Babyface Ray showcases some plug production on his latest album, Summer's Mine. Every single producer should at least learn how to make plugs just so they can get a feel for all the elements that it has, and you never know, you may fall in love with the genre. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very first plug beat and a lot of the elements that go into it. We're primarily going to be using sounds from my Chroma Kit, which just dropped on the Producer Crate absolutely free, so make sure you get that and you use that to follow along the tutorial. Other than that, let's get right into it. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to cook up your first plug beat. Uh, now this is actually going to be made with the new kit that we just dropped called Chroma on the Producer Crate. Uh, this version is completely free. We're going to have another version drop in probably about two weeks. It's going to be the end of August. I had to think about what month it was. Damn. Um, but yeah, check out the free version for now. Anybody who gets the free version right now is actually going to get a discount code when the full version drops, so make sure you get that. But let's get straight into it. So the very first thing I have loaded up here is Xenology. This is a fire plugin for making any type of plug beats. Shout out Kaden for putting me onto that. So when I start making a plug melody, I want it to be kind of smooth and chill, not too complicated. So I'm gonna start with D sharp here, and I'm just gonna build a ninth chord, which basically means when you have the D sharp scale highlighted, which you can do by hitting this button here, view, scale highlighting, and then pick out whatever key you want. I'm gonna make this key in minor natural or aeolian. You can make it in whatever you want. A lot of people like to cook up in major when it comes to plug, so it's up to you. But I'm just going to build a ninth chord here, and I'm just going to skip every other lighter space. So I'm going to hit D sharp, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, and then F. It's going to sound like this. If you listen to a lot of plug music, you'll kind of recognize that chord. It's very common. Also, side note, I apologize for the mic quality. I know usually we got the whole mic set up and everything going, uh, but we're using a new interface and a new studio, so it's a little bit, it's a little bit janky this time, but we're gonna be all right. Y'all can still understand what I'm saying. So I'm gonna hit shift down five times, and now we're gonna have this. And that's the whole chord progression. So we're going to copy it over one more time. And I think that this would actually make this A sharp minor instead of D sharp minor since we went down five. So I'm just going to bump it up five more here. That's hard. I'm going to try to mess with some of the notes and just see if I can make it a little bit more interesting. So let's do that. Oh, I fuck with that. So that way, we're playing all the same chords here, but all I'm doing is moving the notes up or down an octave so they stay in the same key, and they're the same chords still. So it's going to have the same type of emotion with just a little bit of a different feel. So that's hard. So now I'm going to pull up Serum. This is actually going to be the Chroma Serum Bank. So you can see here, producer crate, Chroma Emerald Serum Bank. And we're just going to mess around with some of the sounds and see what we can come up with. That sounds fire. Okay, I kind of like this first one we're working with. And when I'm making these melodies, I don't have an exact theory that I'm following. I'm just trying to make whatever sounds good. And you really just get there by experimenting. So let's see how this sounds. That's kind of hard. Pitch this part up. Okay. I'll work with that. Let's find another sound to add. Oh, 
Oh, I like this. One thing about plug beats is they're very ambient, so that's definitely the vibe that we're going for here. And while I love that sound, I think it could be just a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to mess with some of these mixer presets that you could just drag and drop in and just see if it adds to it at all. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, I like this a lot. I'm actually going to take down the mix level on this just a little bit. Fire. Now I'm going to head over to Serum again, and I'm going to just find a bass sound. And honestly, that's really all you need. So after I find this bass sound, I'm probably going to start working on the drums. This is really tough, but this is kind of similar to the 808s we're going to use, so I'm not going to use that one. I like this. So we're just following the root notes here. So it's G sharp and then D sharp. See if we get a little variation like this. Oh yeah, that's tough. All right, so we're done with the melody. It's only these four layers, but you really don't want to overdo it. Sometimes you can make your melodies a little bit more complex, but I really just want to focus on the core fundamentals of this genre. So let's split it by mixer channel, which you can do by right click and split by channel and drag them all out here. And I'm just going to export the loop real quick. So the reason I want to export this loop is I want to be able to send it to other producers as well as be able to make a beat on it myself. It's just a really good way to network with other people. Uh, sending loops is definitely a great thing, but you just want to make sure that you're building up relationships with people rather than just trying to send the loops out. Because sometimes that can come across as spammy to people. So what I did here is I consolidated the whole thing and I took each one of the stems and I made its own section so people can separate it. I'm just going to double click Head to Audio Editor, and this is where I'm going to export my melody. I always like to normalize it so all my loops are the same volume. I'm going to go 140, D sharp minor, at Stafford Beats, and we're going to call this one Lucky. And then I'm just going to go ahead and save that real quick. Alright, now that I've saved the loop, I'm going to put some drums on it. Let's take this part here. So we've got a section with a bass and a section without the bass. And I'm just going to render this out as its own thing. I'm going to hit Control L to bring it to a mixer track. And then I'm going to mess with some more of these mixer presets to see if we can kind of flip it. That one's already hard. I might go back to that, but let's see. Oh. I really like this one. I'm going to throw another EQ on it. Take out the bass noise. And I'm going to have the bass separate here. That's fire. Shout out my man Notorious Nick for making those, those are crazy as fuck. And now we're gonna get saucy, we're gonna get to the drums. So when you're making drums for plug and beat, it's not gonna be like when you make trap beats or like when you're making anything in that type of lane. So it's not gonna be like super hard hitting, everything's clipping, it's gonna be a lot lighter. So you'll notice a lot of these hi-hats kind of sound a lot lighter than the normal hi-hats that you see in drum kits. 
So we're gonna try this Alge one. We're gonna grab a clap. I like this pass one because it's it's like a little bit low pass, so it sounds more chill. And when you're making your patterns in this, you really don't want to worry too much about staying with one specific type of pattern. There's a lot of genres where you can kind of get away with that, but the more you switch it up, the better. So you can see, for example, I moved the last clap over just a little bit here. So the first three are normal, and the last one's delayed. And then I'm going to mess with some of the hi-hat midis for the hi-hat to see if we can get some basic ideas to start with. I like this. I'm actually going to pitch it up just a little bit. And we'll put a couple rolls in there. Fire. That's all I need to do on that. I don't really need to go too crazy with it. Alright, next I'm going to try out some of these snare midis, see if I can get anything crazy with these. The snares are a really big part of plug beats. You want to use a super light snare and just use that to kind of help with the bounce outside of everything else that's going on. We're going to try this knockers one. This is one of our favorite ones in this kit. Okay, not bad, not bad. So I really like this one. One of the only things about it though is that there's some rolls where claps are already playing. So instead of moving the snares around the claps, I'm actually going to move the clap around the snare. That's fire. So now we'll mess with some open hats and see if we can get a little bit more bounce with those. Oh, this fire. Wavy. So what I did with this open hat is I turned on cut itself and then I just made a second note with no volume to it. This note here is going to cut off this one, so if it's a zero volume, this just turns off the volume. Just adds a little bit more bounce. There's a bunch of ways you could do that, that's just one of my favorite ways to do it. And you'll notice with this, I'm making the 808 last. Usually with these type of beats, I either make it first or I make it last. So I don't really make it between the other drums. So we're going to start doing that now. Let's listen to some of the sounds. I'm gonna try this one to start with, rocker. So I'm gonna turn the whole knob all the way up, everything else all the way down. And then this one says it's an F, so I'm just gonna right click on the F note here so it sets it to the right key. And now we're gonna to try to make a pattern that sounds a little bit bouncy, but like not doing too much. I'm starting on these high notes with the 808 just so I can make sure that the key is right. Because it's a lot easier to hear at this higher key. It's fire. bring it back up just to check it again. So that sounds a little bit weird like that, so we're going to try this. Let's see if that sounds fire here. That's tough. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a second 808 pattern just so there's a little bit of variation since there's not going to be too much variation in the melody. And for this one, I'm actually going to switch to a different 808. 
Let's try this one. So this one, I'm just trying to add a little bit more energy to for when the verse comes in. That's fire. So let's make sure the pattern kind of rolls into each other. So we're actually going to use this more high energy one for the chorus and basically all we're going to do for arrangement is use these two patterns and maybe make one more, uh, but we're not going to overcomplicate it. I kind of like this high intro. So then this is going to be the chorus. This is gonna be the verse here, and then we're gonna make one more section here. And for this part, we're gonna put the bass back in, and we're gonna take out the 808. And then here on this last part, I'm just gonna do a volume fade. So that way it just fades out smooth. Nice and easy outro. So that's all there really is to it, to making plug beats. Like I said, just really focus on the simplicity, make sure that every sound counts and it's either adding to the rhythm or adding to it somehow melodically. And as long as you keep doing that, you're gonna be good. Uh, and like I said, Chroma is gonna be out right now so you can download it for free at theproducercrate.com. I'll link it in the description. And everybody who signs up now is going to get access to the full version just a little bit early. They're going to get a discount code for it. But anyways, here's the beat. Stafford, wake up.